yes, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. If you are shy to go on Facebook Live, or you just don't feel comfortable on video itself, or you just don't know what to say, and the content is the problem, then this video will be for you. My name is Lenka Katslova, and I help entrepreneurs and business owners to build and leverage their online businesses through social media and online communication. Today, I want to share you one advice I got from my past teachers, but before that, if you have any questions, just write them down below this video and I will get to you. Also, I would like to ask you to tag one friend that you think would use this kind of information so they can follow my videos. So, past teacher that I got that taught me a lot about Facebook Live, she gave me really good advice for this case and it is show up, get to the point and be gone. Show up, get to the point and be gone. And I have several tips for you regarding this. First of all, challenge yourself to create one video a day. Every single day try to record something. If you are serious with your business, then you have to watch some videos with speakers, with how-tos, with tutorials. You have to read books, you have to talk to people, you have to meet people, listen to their stories. Whatever you do during the day, just learn the things and tell people about the process you went through, about your opinion, what you thought about that, what you've learned, how you applied it, what you have done, what were the results. Uh, anything that you do with your business, you can just communicate it to your audience. The thing is that you are the expert of what you do, the way you do it. Every single time you will have an audience that will love what you say the way you say it. There are people always who watch you like several steps behind you. They want to know the way you did it, that you succeeded and the exact details. They want, it, they want to know it from you. And if you are not ready to go on live, then record it this way. It doesn't have to be long. It can be only a minute, like five sentences. Really brief stuff. Get to the point. Say what you want to say and that's it. Record it, watch it. It's important. You have to watch the video record. And if you like it, great. You can use it and post it to social media and you get really good content. If not, you can just delete it and continue and record something next day or uh, re-say it, say it again. You can say it several times. That's so nice about the video. You don't really have to feel nervous at all because you don't ever have to put it anywhere. You can just delete it watch it and anything that you want to change, improve. Improve yourself, improve what you do, improve the way you say things, how you look, anything that you don't like about the video you just made, improve and make it better the next day. Make it a habit. Really challenge yourself to do that. It will help you so much. And if you are ready to go live, then you can use simple formula that you can say every single time. And I'm a little bit trying to show you it in my videos. It's welcoming the audience and telling them what the topic of this video will be. It's at the beginning. You're giving people time to join you at the broadcast. And if the watchers are at the replay, they know immediately what will happen. They don't have to wait because I've seen it at several videos and I'm not saying it's bad, but if people are like me, they don't like to wait. So I'm used to fast forwarding those replays and I don't watch them live because I really don't like to wait before the person who's talking will start talking about the topic that I'm interested in. So I watch replays and I'm fast forwarding and looking for the moment where the person actually starts giving me some values and contents. So I recommend, from my personal opinion, not to do that. So tell them, hi, whatever we want to say at the beginning. Tell them what the video will be about. Introduce yourself. 
that's also important because a lot of people during Facebook Live will see you for the first time. It will get to new people, uh, especially when the video gets shared. So you want to introduce yourself, who you are and why you talk at this topic. And afterwards, afterwards, get to the point immediately. Please <laughs> don't do this to me. Please tell them, tell us, us who are watching you, tell us what you have to say, because that's why we came to the broadcast. That's why that's what we are looking for. So give it to us as soon as possible and you can be gone. <laughs> it's really that simple. But one more thing at the end of each video, give them call to action. Ask them to share the video, ask them to comment it, ask them to tag someone who might be interested in this topic or give them a website where they can find more information or some kind of premium or um, whatever free value you want to give them for opt-in maybe. It's, it's best when you get those people's emails. <laughs> it's the best part because you can take care of them and you can give them value through email marketing. But that's a little bit more advanced maybe so give them something to do call to action no, don't just ask to turn on the notifications because once they do you just repeat yourself and that's nothing new for them so you want to give them something else how they can little contribute to your broadcast so today's advice show up get to the point and be gone Challenge yourself to make one video a day, every single day. If the video is good, use it. You have content for your social media. If not, improve and make another one next day. And when you go live, tell them, tell them hi. Tell them what the video will be about, who you are, what you want to tell them, some call to action, what you want them to do and maybe answer some questions and comments. So thank you for watching this video. I'll be glad if you tag someone so more people can see these broadcasts and I will see you next time. Bye.